You guys can see we have our gigantic creeper. Look at that, guys. That is absolutely mental. That is crazy. Look at how big the Let me suck you right. Mario. Hello, buddy. This is your one and only below level series 77. In today's video, guys, we're going to be taking a look at something really, really cool for MCV. So, without further ado, let's just get started straight up on the video. So, guys, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you guys can make custom mcpe mods slash add-ons so also guys just a disclaimer just so you guys know when i say mods or add-ons that usually means the same thing they're pretty much the same thing but yeah guys i'm gonna be showing you guys how to do this in today's video so it's actually a really simple way um if you guys want me to make a video on a more advanced complex version then y'all can definitely let me know in the comment section below and i'll be more than happy to do that in the future and i'll most likely make a video on that in the future but as of right now due to time constraint purposes as you guys know this month these past two months have actually been the most busiest um you know just recently just because i'm you know as you guys know i'm getting ready for a lot of stuff so yeah guys i'm, I'm not gonna go further in depth but yeah man let's just get started trapped in the video so guys before we do start this video let's see if we can hit an amazing like goal of 69 likes on this video guys if we can hit 69 likes on this video that honestly mean the world to me so let's definitely try and smash that like button guys also guys if you guys are new to this channel and you haven't even subscribed come on man what are you doing with your life you gotta subscribe to the channel for some epic amazing banger content i promise you guys will not regret it whatsoever with that being said without further ado let's just get started straight up in the video all right so what you guys are going to need is the latest version of mcv now actually guys uh, okay you don't actually need the latest version but just a disclaimer for you guys and this is not anything serious by the way but this mod these mods will work for any version of minecraft so whether that be 1.16 1.14 which honestly i have no idea why you would be on version 1.14 by now uh, maybe it's just because it's not as laggy i don't know i honestly have no idea but yeah man let's just get started in the video so yeah guys you guys are going to need minecraft you're going to basically need two applications also guys i really do apologize i forgot to actually mention this does also only work and apply with android uh, if you guys want me to do a video particularly for more of like ios and windows 10 and stuff and just other parts of minecraft bedrock edition then definitely let me know in the comment section below and like i said i'm probably most likely going to be doing it anyways uh but you know just letting me know would be much more appreciated that way i can know how many of you guys actually want to see it but yeah man uh i'm not and i know a lot of you guys don't own android devices but um yeah this is one of the benefits of owning an android device so yeah i'm just gonna get started sorry guys i'm talking like way too much so you're gonna need two applications uh like i said you do need to own the android version uh minecraft on android this only works for android devices um of course you can port this to ios and bedrock edition this works in minecraft bedrock edition these mods uh, however the method of actually making the mods uh, only works on android and this is the most simplest method i um well i didn't come up with but at least that i've found um but yeah man uh this this is not, by the way this is not actually found by me this is obviously found by the creator of these this application right here so this is the application you guys will need also you guys you obviously will need to own a copy of minecraft and that should be pretty much it those are literally the two applications you need it's so much more easier compared to having to make it on a computer and stuff it's just i don't know guys y'all honestly have no idea how hard coding is and stuff like i i don't even know how hard coding is because i've never coded myself but trying to make a mod in general was just i don't know man it's just, it's just all that stuff is just not easy but yeah i mean let's just get started so the first thing we're going to do is open this application right here so uh, you guys will notice my screen is going to tilt um so yeah this is pretty much how the interface does look this is the name of the app right here you guys can get it on the google play store it's called minecraft add-ons maker that's literally all it is so what you guys need to do is you're going to want to find uh where it says editor and you're going to click the plus button and basically there's a bunch of different options you can either edit or create these new things so i want to actually instead of creating i want to actually edit something so let's edit hmm, let's go let's see what should we do let's edit a creeper all right and i want to make this i want to make this uh okay let's let's make the health let's make the health let's make the health one no let's make the health 10 let's make it half and uh let's name it what do you guys want to name it hmm 
actually no leave it leave it as creeper okay so we're just gonna modify the creeper uh, you guys can do all these different options you have a bunch of different options uh, a lot of advanced options too of course this is only the very basic even i did say uh, advanced but this is the only basic version of the mod and as you guys can see we have so many options but if you guys want to get into more complex stuff then you will have to use a computer i believe um but yeah man i mean you can i'm pretty sure you can do it on android as well but it's going to be a little bit more harder um yeah and if you always want to make mods you can definitely go ask some of the mod creators uh, i do leave a link in the description below of my mod videos or you can even go on mcb dl and you know just find mods and see who created it check out their social media try to get in contact with them but yeah man we have all these different options i'm gonna do so yeah you can so we're gonna actually make this a creeper a boss so yeah you can actually turn the creeper into a boss which is honestly really crazy and then we have size okay let's change the size of the creeper so let's make it a 25 a whopping 25 so we're gonna make this a magnificent gigantic creeper all right and let's see i think that should be it i'm uh, that okay we're gonna save it as that uh we're gonna click on save all right and now you guys God, are gonna get ads that's hey, the only problem with you want to see something as cool you can see, look okay at that. what is it what is it it is TikTok. really i don't know i don't know if you guys even own this app um honestly if you don't own this app come on man where have you been like that's the, that's the most trending thing right now honestly i'm not even gonna lie like i actually was the, one of those people that hated tiktok but TikTok is actually kind of nice. Like, it's kind of addicting if I be if I'm being quite frankly honest. Like, it's not all about just dances and stuff. Whatever content you watch on TikTok, they basically optimize it to your liking. And they'll basically I don't know how to explain. They do a really good job though, trying to recommend you content that you personally like. So if if you watch like stuff about Minecraft, they'll recommend stuff about Minecraft. It's honestly really cool. Um, but yeah, man, that's why it's so addicting. They do a really good job trying to get your um attention on that app but yeah man once you you trust me you don't want to get addicted to that app because let me tell you it is very addicting and time consuming so yeah man so that's that's that um let's do something else let's see sorry guys also if i was talking about tiktok i know a lot of you guys are here for the tutorial let's let's do plus again and let's try to add something else i'm gonna try to add a block but i don't really know how to do much of that i just you know what just for the sake just due to con time constraint purposes uh, let's just try to edit another um, let's try to edit another mob let's see ah uh, nah you know what let's add a let's add, let's add a weapon okay you know what? I'm not gonna do all this but yeah y'all can definitely go and mess around with this if y'all want but yeah this is the quickest way to make a mod slash add-on um okay let's add let's let's make a food all right let's see texture let's okay let's name this da, da, da. let's just name it that um okay let's make the crafting recipe let's make the crafting recipe a barrier block no 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 okay you know what let's make the crafting recipe a brewing stand plus no no let's make uh let's make the crafting recipe a brewing stand and an apple that's that should be good all right and then uh you guys can actually change the texture as well so you can actually use this or you can choose a custom texture so you can actually choose a picture texture and i do apologize guys i'm gonna have to move this my legs are absolutely killing me man actually no you know what i'm just gonna take a real quick break so yeah you guys you guys can basically do a bunch of different stuff you guys can you know choose it if you guys want you can already choose a pre-existing texture you guys want to use or you can choose a custom texture you guys can download some uh, on the net too uh, but it's honestly recommended that you make your own custom texture uh, because you could get potentially copyrighted so i'm just letting you guys know that right now but i'm just going to use one from here just for the video's sake i'm not gonna really do much okay let's use this let's use this uh let's use this weird looking fish right here all right that that's that's our texture so bring stand in the apple and we are going to name and then you guys can see we have the name right there and we're going to create a food so there we go let's click on save and you should be okay it says invalid id id format i'm not sure what that is save
PA. All right, so you guys can see that's what we did. So uh, I, I'm not 100% sure. I do apologize, guys. Uh, but yeah, y'all can definitely try to, um, you know, figure this out yourself. But that's what I did uh, to get it working. So I just typed in, also guys, uh, the number, I just typed in PA um, or whatever I just typed in. And then uh, I typed in the number. So the number doesn't have to be exactly like that. Y'all can make it whatever number you guys want. But yeah, man, let's just export this. So once you guys are, have finished making the mod that you guys wanted to do, all you guys got to do is click on this button right here that says export on the top right of my screen. So just click on that and then you guys can basically name it whatever you want. So let's just name it Creepa Description Subscribe to my YouTube Okay, so you guys can also set the author name. So, oh man, Creepa. Oh man, I, I missed that song, man. Ugh. Uh, getting get, getting me those goosebumps. I'm not sure about you guys. Just hearing that is giving me some goosebumps. Okay, I'm just being weird now. Let's just, just click OK. And that should be pretty much it. Uh, of course, we're going to get some ads here and there. Just exit out of that. Kind of annoying. But yeah, you guys can upload it onto this uh, you know app. Or you can actually import it to Minecraft. So that I'm just going to personally import it to Minecraft. So I don't have to use this app. And it is going to take a while. Just wait for that to load. It's, now, I, I'm not sure about you guys. If you guys have been noticing this recently. But this NVIDIA Shield tablet has been getting really laggy. I'm not sure if any of you guys that own an NVIDIA Shield tablet have this issue. I mean, I don't know if you guys know. But this used to be like one of the best, fastest devices for Minecraft Bedrock Edition. Like just not even Minecraft Bedrock Edition. Just my MCPE in general. This thing absolutely lived up to its years and it's honestly handled Minecraft so amazing. And it's kind of a sad bummer that it's, you know, not running as good as it should be. Um, but yeah, man, it's kind of unfortunate. I really, I really was hoping this would last a little bit longer, but then again, I'm not too, too surprised. Um, I'm not, actually, if anything, I don't think it should have lasted this long, but it's doing a good job handling, uh, you know, Minecraft. Actually, especially the fact that it's only running at two, with two gigabytes of RAM. Now the processor itself, I think is pretty powerful, but the amount of RAM on this device is actually kind of pathetic, if I do say so myself. And a lot of the new newer phone processors are much better. So, yeah, guys, you guys can see once it has successfully imported, and you guys can see our add-on is right here. You guys can see it says Creepa. So keep in mind, guys, uh, if you guys want to actually uh, be able to use the add-on, what you guys are going to do is activate the texture pack. So in order to use an add-on, you have to actually activate the both the texture pack and the behavior pack. And in order to use both of them together, you do have to enable experimental gameplay. And you guys may be wondering, uh, what is the best way to do that? You're best off going to have to create a new world. Now, if you want, you can use your pre-existing world. But I find when I do that, my add-ons tend to not work. So even if it creates a copy. So just if I was you guys, I just create a new world. If you do have problems with this not working. If it's not working, then I recommend you guys do create a new world. So what we're going to do is activate the resource pack and the behavior pack. Wait for this to load. I need some. Okay, there we go. And the behavior pack, we're just going to activate it right here. You guys can see we also have a behavior pack. Click continue and go to game right here before you guys do start up the world. Um, let's just enable these just to be, I don't know, just why not? And then you guys can see right here, um, activate, let's activate cheats. And let's find where it says, uh, let's find where it says experimental gameplay. You guys are gonna want to enable that. You guys can see right here, we have an option right here. This is the most important step if you guys want this mod to work. So you have to activate experimental game. You're gonna click okay. You guys can see experimental gameplay is now enabled. Now what you guys are gonna do is create the world and we should be pretty much good to go.
all right so you guys can see let's see if our mod has successfully worked so what i'm actually going to do is set my game mode to creative just really quick do that oh my gosh guys this is so like it's kind of irritating of course i'm not maybe it's just me not being patient but i don't know you guys know i have very little patience when my game lags game mode one let's go no ah oh, are you kidding me yeah guys i, I don't know uh, slash dang that is really dang that is really annoying all right you guys can see our mod has successfully worked as you guys can see we do have our um boss right here and actually the creeper is now officially a boss because it has whatever this ui thing is and you guys can see we have our gigantic creeper look at that guys that is absolutely mental that is crazy look at how big the creeper is right here guys and look i can't even you can't even hit it you have to i think you have to go down and like hit it right here um if you want to actually inflict some damage and you guys can see our creeper is actually weaker than that of a typical creeper you would normally see in vanilla minecraft without any mods but this one right here with the the modded version is a lot more weaker you guys can see i'm easily killing it with my fist uh, usually it would take double the hits i actually lowered the hp by half so which is the health bar by the way um but yeah that's pretty much that also i think we added one more new thing uh actually i think we have to craft it too because i don't know how else to necessarily obtain our item so let's just go over here and if i can actually find okay you know what i'm not even gonna bother finding the food let's just get an apple okay so let's get a bring stand and an apple oh my gosh guys they should have honestly like did a better job set like separating this stuff it's kind of a kind of a bad job in my opinion there we go all right let's go i mean they don't have to but it'd be very much appreciated uh let's do that bam as you guys can see we got our custom food right over here look at that guys we even have our custom menu. don't worry guys you guys can see in my inventory it did not replace any of the other foods so that's honestly really crazy and you guys can see we even have our gigantic creepers i'm not sure why you guys would want this but if you do for whatever reason want to actually use this item in your minecraft survival then you can definitely download it i will definitely leave a link in the description below if you guys would like to go and download this mod and your boy right here is the creator official mod creator in minecraft. i'm officially going to be a part of the minecraft mod discord yeah. honestly um that's, that, that's pretty much it it's kind of a dumb mod honestly but yeah man i hope you guys did enjoy this video hopefully you guys did find something kind of useful i do apologize for making this a really long video 19 minute video it's actually really simple um, but yeah man that being said i want to thank each and one of you guys for watching and i'll see you later peace out guys see you and bye bye